There are three key times to spray fungicide in wheat. You've got the real early spraying when you're going to be out spraying herbicide. You've got flag leaf time and then the final time every year is at heading. Now on your farm you maybe haven't even been spraying fungicide at all or maybe just once. You probably have never sprayed three times, but I'll tell you what, when you've got $8 wheat or $10 or like last year, $20 wheat, it really can pay for you. And today we want to talk about three different fungicides that can be used at heading to control head scab or at least reduce the incidence of head scab. First of all, if you're still under shock about spraying three times <laughs> just with fungicide, not talking about insecticide or, or herbicide or, or doing some... Uh, stream barring of nitrogen, something like that. Boy, this is a lot of trips to make over a wheat it crop. It is, but where... what do you want? A 60 bushel crop or do you want 100 bushels? <laughs> if you look at some of the best wheat producers in the world and look at how many times they're going over their field, this is the reason why they have tram lines. They're out there every week. We're only raising a little bit of wheat, but we're out there every single week doing something. That's really the key and that's what I was getting at, that you need to plan for these traffic patterns or if you don't want to plan for traffic patterns then you better have a good friend that does some aerial application <laughs> that's willing to be there on a timely basis because it is important to hit these fungicide applications just at the right time because with diseases in wheat or, or really diseases in any crop you can't go out there and cure them later. You have to treat them before they're a real problem in the field. But anyway, coming back to the timing and when you spray this stuff, because we were talking about how timing is so important with fungicides, you want to wait until that head emerges and you want the head to start flowering. So, I mean, as little as like 10% flowering to maybe 50% flowering, somewhere kind of in that range, you, you've only got a few days to get this done. And that's why it's important to either have a really good connection with a pilot to make sure he's out there when he needs to be. Otherwise, you need to have tram lines out in your field so you can do this spraying yourself. Well, when we're talking about spraying heads on a wheat plant, it's really important to get good coverage because the other thing with fungicides, in addition to not being great at curing disease, they don't move around in the plant very much at all. So you have to spray them on the area that you want to protect. Going at a little bit of an angle does seem to get a little bit more fungicide on the wheat head. But again, spray coverage is really important here. Now you don't have to load up on water volume because we aren't talking about a lot of surface area there. Just make sure you're spraying with really small droplets at relatively high pressure, kind of creating a little bit of a fog out there. The twin jet nozzle is probably the way to go. So let's talk about comparing these products, one versus the other a little bit. Folicure, Proline, and Caramba. Folicure has been the old standby. It's pretty good on rust. It's also decent on head scab. The new product Proline that came out last year is better on head scab and in many cases it was used in combination with Folicure like three ounces of each product and that combination added about three bushels of yield for many of the farmers that we're working with in the Western Corn Belt. Well yeah but there, there's a lot of difference out there in yield and the, the price if you're just going to go straight Folicure at four ounces you're only going to spend probably five six bucks an acre it's not much. If you want to go straight Proline at five ounces you'll spend probably eighteen dollars an acre or you could do the combination of three ounces of Folicure, three ounces of Proline uh, and it's roughly going to cost you an extra bushel of wheat. So if you figure I got to at least get one more bushel of wheat if I take three ounces of Folicure and put three ounces of Headline together compared to just spraying four ounces of Folicure by itself. So I personally think it's much better on head scab. Sure, the Proline is not as good on the rust, but that's why you throw that Folicure in. Now, as far as the brand new product, Caramba, it's actually been used around the world for a few years, but it is new here in the U.S. There, we're not going to have much supply. If you want to try some on your farm, that's great. Compare it to that combination of Folicure and Proline and see what you think on your farm. It's supposed to be real good on head scab and also pretty good on rust. Well, our wheat crop has just about made it. Don't let it go. Protect it from head scab with that third application of fungicide in many cases. Well, another thing you need to protect your crops from is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what it is coming up next. <laughs> 